Hello, this is Cosmic Ed, and today we continue our NPy lessons. In one of previous videos we learned about logical or boolean variables and how they can help us make a branching story. And in this video we will use those variables to make a very complex branching path, to make some complex decisions. So now here is our game, it's called The City of Ryzen. And remember that this is not a final story, I just have a vague idea for a story and I will just use it in this video for now. So uh, this will be a story in a world where, where eldritch gods have risen like Cthulhu and, and uh, all of this and they rule the world and they control humanity and this is our main character. It's Imani, she works in a store and she's very lucky to have a job and a home in this world, of course. And one day she meets a mysterious stranger like this guy. He is weird, but he's kind to her. So, we need a few decisions to make. So let's make a few menus for our player. And the first menu will add will be a choice to compliment this mysterious stranger or talk to him as usual and if we compliment him we set compliment variable to true here at the beginning of this script we declared two variables default compliment equals false and default gift equals false so these are two decisions that the player will be able to make. So if we complement this mysterious stranger, we set complement variable to true. If we don't complement him, complement variable will stay false. Then we add some story after that. The stranger's name is Maurice or Maurice. I don't know how, how it's spelled. Maurice liked some item that Imani was selling in uh, in a store, but he doesn't have any money. Yeah, because he's very mysterious, he doesn't have any money. Here we will present the player with another choice. We can gift him this item or don't gift him <laughs> this item. If we g uh, give uh, Maurice this item for free, we set the gift variable to true and we say that Imani gave the item to Maurice for free. If we choose no, Imani said that he needs money to get this item and that's it. So now we have two variables and the player can choose to compliment Maurice and give him, gift him the item or compliment him and do not gift him this item or do not compliment him. Well, there might be different combinations of these two variables later. So how can we use these variables in a more complex way than just uh, checking one of these variables? Let's continue our story and we add the line that the boss, so Imani talking to stranger for a long time, he yelled at her and fired her for that. Okay, here we add another menu. Uh, what should she do? Uh, Imani can go home or beg the boss to not fire him. And here is a little life hack. If you want to have a menu option that does nothing, uh, you can't just uh, put this empty. You must do something uh, in this line. So you can just write pass. So if we were choose to go home, nothing happens. And the game will continue here. If we choose beg the boss, then Imani will cry and beg the boss not to fire her. But he won't listen to her. So, uh, well, this menu for now does nothing anyway. Because nothing will change. But later we will add something to it. 
So let's add one more line, Imani cried and went home and here we will add some magic. But let's see how the game looks for now. So we launch our game, we start the game, this is money, this is uh, Maurice. We can compliment Maurice or talk to him as usual, okay, we compliment him. Man of Flirting complimented the stranger. His name is Maurice. Uh, gift him this item. We can choose no. He man said that he needs money to get it. And when the boss uh, yelled at her and fired her, we can go home or beg the boss. Well, and anyway, if we choose to go home, he man cried and went home. If we choose to beg the boss, Imani cried, begged the boss not to fire her, but later she cried and went home. So as you can see, we have three different menus in our game now. And now we will add some complex conditionals, more complex than in previous video. We write if, as usual, complement. We can write equals equals true. But in billion variables, if complement is the same as complement equals true. So we check if complement is true. But now, instead of just put column here and add what will happen if we complemented Maurice, we write if complement and gift. So if we choose to complement, Maurice here and then we chose to give him this item for free then something will happen if both these variables are true so if that what happened then Maurice tells Imani that he is one of Eldritch gods and he loves her and want Imani to go with him and then we just jump to the end label well, we don't have to uh, have the end label because anyway we will go to return and this will end the game but uh, maybe we uh, we would like to add some uh, story here or we can add some conditions in the end well uh, jump at the end I think it's a nice indication that the game ends and we go to the end but what if we didn't compliment Maurice or we didn't uh, gave him uh, something for free? We write L if, that means else and another if. So this will be checked if this check fails. And we can write if compliment or gift. So we check if one of these variables is true. If we complimented Maurice but didn't give him uh, the item for free or if we gave him this item but didn't compliment him then this will happen and we say that Maurice didn't like the way the boss treated Imani and then Maurice killed the boss and left not the worst uh, <laughs> ending but still not the best one either and if we didn't compliment him and we didn't give him uh, anything for free we can just write else and else block will be executed if all of previous conditions failed we can uh, have as many conditions as you want in l if blocks and if none of them is true then the else block will be executed and here we write that Imani lost her job and home and soon she was sacrificed to the eldritch gods yeah well that is I think not the very nice ending so let's see how it looks in the game we start our game we see Maurice and we have our first menu let's uh, compliment Maurice but uh, give him this item let's choose no and let's go home then 
Morris didn't like the way the boss treated him money and killed the boss and left. So we see that we went to this branch because we only complimented him but didn't give him anything. And of course, if we don't compliment him and talk to him as usual but give him the item for free, then we will go to the same ending Maurice didn't like the way the boss treated the money and killed the boss and of course if we choose to compliment Maurice and then give him item then Maurice tells the money that he is one of Eldridge gods and he loves her and wants money to go home with him and as you can guess if we choose to talk to him as usual then we choose not to give him anything then Imani lost her job and home and soon she was sacrificed to the Eldritch Gods. So you see that we can uh, we can make a lot of branching paths at one spot based on uh, previous player interactions. We can have uh, more variables here like uh, we could have if we complement and gift or we hugged uh, Maurice then this will happen so we can have we can combine and and or and we can add this uh, here and hugged so we can make very complex conditions but um, if you know maths and I really hope you know maths just a little bit then you can think about and and or like multiply and plus signs and true is the same as one and false is the same as zero so to uh, understand will this condition work or not we uh, multiply one by zero we will get zero and add another zero so this will not uh, work but if both of these are true then we will multiply one by one we will get one and if we add zero we will still uh, have one and of course if these are false let's think uh, of them like zero and if this is true then we will multiply zero by zero and plus one that will be true so just treat these variables as uh, zeros and one and treat and and or as e uh, multiply and plus and that means that as in math you can use parentheses to change the meaning of this uh, condition so if we add parentheses around gift plus hugged that means that this condition will work only if we complement Maurice and one of these at least one of these should be true uh, and we gave him something or we hugged him but this is should be true always and same here if we add parentheses around complement or gift that means that one of these should be true and hugged must be true okay but uh, we don't have hugged for now let's remove it and let's see another use for these variables let's go back to this menu where the boss fires Imani and we have uh, a question what should we do we can go home or we can beg the boss not to fire us but let's add one more choice here and this choice will be ask Maurice for help but I want this choice to be a secret choice that will be hidden from player until some conditions are met and this is very easy to achieve in Renpai after this text 
we put space, we write if, and then we write our condition. So if we complement and gift, then this menu option will appear. If one of these variables is false, then this option will be hidden. So let's add what will happen here. And if we choose ask Maurice for help, my name begged Maurice for help and he killed the boss. So let's see how it will look in the game. Let's start the game. Let's choose not to compliment Maurice. Let's give him the item for free. And here, when boss fires money, we can go home and beg the boss for, uh, not to fire us. We have only two options here. Let's go back to the beginning of the game. And now let's compliment Maurice and then let's give him item for free. So what will happen? The boss tries to fire here. And we have three options now in the same menu because we complimented Maurice and gave him item for free then we can see this option ask Maurice for help so we can add secret dialogue options in our game based on any conditions we like so let's ask Maurice for help and he kills her boss and this is the end of our game yeah so as you can see you can use the basic boolean variables to make a very very complex decisions make a very com pretty complex game just using this basic technique well that's it for today and in next lessons we will expand on this uh, well uh, not very good but weird story that was cosmo and till the next time